Hey guys, what's up? It's Chris here. And in today's video, I wanted to show you a video I recorded for a student in my course uh, where I helped him troubleshoot his Xcode project because he had a crash. I want to show you this for two reasons. Um, in case you are a beginner uh, watching my channel, uh, the mistakes that he made in this project are very common for beginners. So I think that will help you if you're just starting to build apps yourself. And second of all, um, it illustrates the thought process I go through when I encounter a crash in the in the app and kind of what steps I take to try and find out what's wrong. So that will be very helpful if you're just starting to get the hang of debugging. Before I show you that video though, there's two things I want to mention. First are these Learn Swift challenges. Uh, I think there were it was a couple of videos ago when I introduced them. And so if you haven't tried them yet, please do so because it's going to really reveal what you don't understand and what you forgot, frankly. So try out these challenges even if you cannot complete them because it will tell you what you don't know. And um, I will be posting solutions for them very shortly this week. And second of all, if you have completed them, please be sure to come on this page and click to tweet, let me know, and I will add your name here. There's still a couple of names I haven't added yet, but I'll do so soon. And the second thing is that um, I have been busy um, grabbing all of the success stories and putting them on one page here. And there are more, but I've, I need to take a break from doing this. So this is not all of them. But anyways, I feel like this is useful because you can, you can click on an icon and then you can go to that story where it illustrates um, th there's a little tiny interview with the developer and it tells you what their lessons learned were and kind of what their struggles were and if you're building your app for the first time um, this may be helpful for you as well all of these people who built and published these apps were beginners to the ios platform who had built apps before now if you've followed my videos or you've learned from my videos or my articles and you've built an app i'd love to hear about it please uh, send me a message give me an email and let's get your app featured on this page as well. Okay, so with those two things out of the way, let's get down to the debugging video. I hope you guys enjoy it. Hey Jacob, it's Chris here. I thought it'd be easier to show you what was going on with your project um, in a video. So I'm just going to build your project here. And I took a look at the error message beforehand. Um, it does say build succeed now, but uh, let me run the project. And in running the project you get a crash right this itself doesn't tell you very much so usually what um, what will give you an indication of what the error is is if you go down in this console area this debug console area and you scroll all the way to the top because what happens is the error happens and then there's some it gives you what the error message is here like a friendly one and then it dumps out all of this, what's called a stack trace, and um, it has all of these memory addresses and kind of like low level stuff, which um, it is kind of not that useful, you know. And so you scroll to the top and you learn to recognize what the errors are. So for this specific one here, um, the set value for undefined key, this class is not key value coding compliant for the key fourth stack view. And I can see the typo here. And this error is probably the most common error that you'll find um, among people who are just starting to learn. Um, so this happens a lot for the students in the courses. And it's actually a very easy fix. So what the problem is, um, it's when you connect something from your storyboard to your, from the storyboard to the code file, to the view controller, I mean. And let's say you make a typo like you did here, right? So you probably deleted that property. So I'm just trying to open things up here. So um, just to give you an example. So you might have done something like this where you're looking at the fourth stack view here. Um, you hold down control and then, you know, you drag a line over here on your uh, view controller. You let go and then you start typing in your outlet and then you, you know, type something, you click connect. And then you realize that, oh, no, I made a typo. So then what you do is you delete this outlet that was the typo and then you try and connect it again. Um, and this time you type it in correctly. Well, the problem is 
is when you delete that typo IB outlet, um, the connection from the element to that typo still exists. So that's why it crashes because it's looking for, you know, fourth stack view with an H instead of a K and it can't find it because you, you know, obviously you've corrected it here. And this is your, you know, final outlet. So if I go ahead, go into this document outline right here and I right click on this stack view, I'm actually going to see that this element is connected not only to this fourth stack view outlet, it's also going to be connected to this typo outlet that no longer exists. And it's also going to be connected to the one that I just made up and deleted. So all we have to do is right click that element. You can see here it's connected to um, fourth stack view. This is the correct one. This is the typo one. And this is that random jumble of letters that I type. See, it's connected to all three. So when you run your app, it's going to look for these connections, which don't exist because we deleted those outlets here. So all you have to do is click this X on the one that doesn't exist anymore and leave the one that does exist, right? And after that, running your project will be fine. So that error, that specific error is one that you're going to learn to recognize. And the next time you see that message, um, you're going to, you're going to recognize what it is. Okay, so there's another crash, one that I I haven't seen yet because I didn't actually let's see here. Uh, constraint items must be an instance of UI view or UI layout guide. So constraint items. Okay, so this tells me that we're trying to create an NS layout constraint object and when we're trying to relate two items together into a constraint, they must both be, you know, um, a child eventually of UIV. Like they must be things that are shown in the storyboard. So let's go ahead and try to find out where this is because it highlights this line again, which isn't very useful. So let's go into our code and we're going to double check everywhere where we uh, create NS layout constraints. So one very useful tip here, I'm going to just copy NS layout constraint. I'm going to hold down uh, command shift and press F and I'm going to paste that there. And what this is going to do, it's going to search our entire project. That's all the files in the project for NS layout constraint. So, you know, I got this list here and I can just check every one of them. So let's go in card first. So here we are relating the card image view uh, height is equal to nil, not an attribute, but that's fine image view we're setting the width okay that's fine top constraint the image view related to self so self is a type of a card it's a ui view that's fine they're both views right image view self that's fine okay so it must be these last two ones then let's see here nil not an attribute and it's layout card oh this, this is the one that's wrong here, you see? Height constraint, you're relating card index. But card index is this guy right here. It's just an int, right? So I think you actually meant to write card in there, not card index. So you can see how it's just scrolling up here and just reading this message gives you some indication of what's wrong. And the more you see these and the more you you know, find out the problem that was causing this message, uh, the more you're going to begin to recognize what these error messages tell you. And the next time you see this one, you kind of immediately have an idea of what to look for in your project. Okay, so now let's run it again. Hopefully this is, yeah, built succeeded, but let's hope it runs. Okay, so I mean, it it doesn't look like what it's supposed to. I wonder why it's yeah, there we go. I guess we just didn't set it to landscape for this project yet, but you get your cards and you get scrolling and I guess you haven't set the background yet. But yeah, now your project runs and I think that was a good exercise and I hope you learned something new. So thanks for learning with me and I hope this helps. Bye for now.